Hi everyone, welcome to Sonali's Home Foods. Today we are preparing one of the most popular dish in North Indian cuisine, butter paneer. So let us begin. For this, we will need two ripe tomatoes, one medium sized onion or about one and a half cup of chopped onion, then six to seven cloves of garlic, one inch piece of ginger, half or one uh, green chili as per your liking. If you like it spicy, you can use a little more too. Chop them all roughly. You don't need to chop them very finely because we are anyways going to cook it and then grind it to a gravy. I have cut 200 grams of paneer in cubes. Let us dip them in warm water, not very boiling hot water, just lukewarm or little more than lukewarm will do. And let us cover and keep it aside. This will keep the paneer soft. Now in a kadhai or a pan, take one tablespoon of oil. And once it is little hot, let's add ginger, garlic, and the chopped onions and now let us cook till the onions are nice pink in color you can see that the onions are now nice tender let's continue cooking them for a few more minutes and now the onions are nice pink in color so let us add the tomatoes and let's start with them for a few minutes. Now let us add some salt. This will help the tomatoes to cook faster. And now let us cover and let it cook for two, three minutes. After two, three minutes, open and check on them. tomatoes are almost done but not completely done. I can still feel some rawness in it. I'm going to add some water, just around two tablespoons of water. Give it a nice mix. And let us cover and cook for a few more minutes. Now these tomatoes look done. So Let's add some green chilies. You can add green chilies more if you like it spicy. You can completely skip it if you don't like it spicy at all. And let us cover and cook it again for 2-3 minutes till the oil starts separating. You can see that the gravy is nicely done and the oil has separated from the tomatoes. So now let's turn off the flame and let this mixture cool down completely. Once the mixture has cooled down completely, let us take this mixture in a blender jar and blend it into a nice puree. Now let's heat a pan on medium heat and let's add a tablespoon of oil and one tablespoon of ghee. Let's add a teaspoon of jeera or cumin seeds and let them crackle for a minute. Now I'm going to turn off the flame because I'm going to add the red chili powder. Let's add red chili powder as per your liking. I'm adding around one and a half teaspoon over here. I've turned off the flame so that the red chili powder doesn't start burning. And now let us add the masala puree that we have prepared. And let's turn on the flame again on medium. And now let us give it a nice mix. You'll see a beautiful red color to the gravy. There was some leftover gravy, so I'm adding a little water to the jar and using the same to thin this gravy. Let us continue cooking for a few minutes. After a few minutes, you'll see that the gravy has changed the color and it looks nice cooked. So time to add some spices. Let's add two teaspoons of coriander powder and half a teaspoon of turmeric powder. mix and continue cooking for a few minutes till the spices are nicely cooked. After about half a minute, let's turn the flame to low and cover and cook for a few more minutes. After about two minutes, let's open and check on the gravy and it looks nicely cooked. The oil has separated. So let us add some more water 
to Thindus Gravy. I'm adding little water at a time. And now let us add one and a half cup of frozen peas. I'm using the frozen peas, but if you have the fresh ones, of course you can use the fresh ones. I will suggest that you cook them uh, separately and then add them. I'm adding a little more water to thin this gravy. This looks good consistency, so this is the time to add the paneer. I have taken off all the water that I had dipped this paneer in. And let's give this a nice mix. Time to add some salt as per your taste. And I'm also adding half a teaspoon of sugar. I'm also adding just two pinches of cardamom powder. It gives a very nice flavor. So I'll definitely suggest using a little bit of cardamom powder. You're also going to add some garam masala later, but a little extra cardamom does give a nice flavor to this gravy. And now I'm adding half a teaspoon of garam masala powder. Let us cover and cook for 2-3 more minutes. And now our butter paneer is almost done. Let us add some chopped cilantro and let us mix it. And our mutter paneer is ready to be served. You can definitely add some more richness to this dish by adding some whipping cream at the end or you can also add the cashew nut paste while cooking the tomato and onion gravy. But I'm avoiding doing that because you know otherwise all the paneer dishes end up uh, tasting the same. So I'm keeping this more simple. But feel free to add some whipping cream or cashew nut paste if you want to make it more richer. You can serve it with naan, tandoori roti, plain paratha or rice as per your liking. Do give this recipe a try and let me know how it came out. If you like this recipe, please don't forget to click on the like button. And please do subscribe to my channel if you have not already done so. Let us meet very soon with another tasty recipe. Till then, please take care and stay safe.